All right, I'm making this video for anybody interested in this truck. This is the uh, the old 89 Toyota pickup, Hilux, whatever you want to call it. And it's uh, raw form, not freshly washed. <laughs> I just got done using it two days ago to get some wood. There's underneath her. You can see, I got pictures of the catalytic converter and the muffler I put on it too, for you guys to see that. But here she is in the raw form very very nice straight truck baby blue the pinstripe on it it's, it was probably repainted back in the 90s i'm assuming from the quality of the paint job but it's man it is solid and not full of bondo from <laughs> from what i can tell i mean it's i've been through this thing inside outside it's it's nice uh someone's thrown a aftermarket bumper and little grill on here that's someone being me <laughs> because uh when I got it, someone had rolled this into a telephone pole right there, and it just barely dented. And I didn't like the look of that, so I threw the new one on there. But this stuff is, you know, surface rust that I keep having an SOS pad off of there. So, yep, probably needs to be clear coated. But that's it. Nice looking truck. Definitely a blast from the past. Definitely straight. And let's start it up and drive it and do all that good stuff so you can see how nice it is. It's cold, so... I haven't ran it at all today. This is exactly what it looks like. Brand new carpet, brand new floor mats. They're a little sandy. It's nice and clean, smells fresh in here. It's actually got Bluetooth, factory radio with Bluetooth. I wanted to keep it looking all stock. So with that out of there, it's totally stock, which is nice. So put this back in, fire it up for you. Heat on, push button start see the engine's cold let's actually take a look at that engine no smoke or nothing stupid like that i hate people that said in the listing description it's got that stupid ass little annoying cam was a crank seal maybe underneath here it'll just do a light little drip ever so often it's very annoying uh i got a quote from trinity auto works they wanted like 375 to put the new seal in i bought the seal but it hasn't bothered me too much from where i keep it parked i don't really i don't really care about a driveway or anything so yeah, enough rambling. Let's uh, squeeze back here and see. Take this little bad boy for a drive. Oh, that door's locked. Just scoot over to the other side. Sorry about the shaky video, guys. Just trying to make something that's not really produced. Also has cold AC, which is awesome. Take it for a drive. Throw my seatbelt on. Hang on. All the lights do work on it. It also occasionally, <laughs> the stupid check engine light comes on once in a while and turns off. I think it's a lean, the code's lean mixture, lean rich mixture, rich mixture. It's got like that conflicting mixture error that it'll throw every once in a while when you put new gas in it. So it's probably just the ethanol gas, but got brand new tires on it i just put the tires on it so they maybe have 250 miles on them if that and yeah it's just a good truck it's a little four speed transmission in it i think it's a four speed uh steers good drives good brakes good starts right up all the gauges do work, so the gas gauge is functional. It's got a half a tank in it, and temperature gauge does work. And the air is nice and cold. It's not like a uh, new car. It's, it's cold, um, but it's not like a brand new car where you're going to chill your cheeks off of yourself in the Florida heat, but it's pretty good for a 35-year-old truck. And no, it's not one of those 
where the AC works for three weeks and then it, you buy it and it stops working where someone just recharges a leaky system. This AC has worked perfectly for the last year and a half I've had it. Uh, ish, maybe two years. I don't even know how long I've had this truck. A year, year or so. Um, air was ice cold when I bought it from the previous owner, and it's. I haven't touched it, haven't recharged it. It's still ice cold, so you can rest assured that it's not a leaky system. It's just factory AC. I have noticed uh, when I'm at a stoplight for a long time in the middle of this Florida heat, the air will get a little bit warmer, and I think that's just due to the fans. It's a manual fan clutch. So I think that's just due to the AC speed. Uh, the fan speed on the revolutions on the engine, just not pulling a lot of air through there. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. You probably want to maybe put a fan on it if you get bored. Only reason I'm selling it is because this is my house right here. I just picked that truck up right there. So got myself a new Tacoma. Wanted something that had a little bit more room in it to put stuff in behind the seats. But this will this will be a great work truck for someone or someone looking to just find something from the 80s that's not been uh, molested, I guess you could call it. It's not it's not one of those trucks that's just slapped together and someone's you know just trying to get rid of it. It's it's I wouldn't trust this thing to go do lumber hauls and everything else if it wasn't reliable. So just take it down the road here. Definitely not going to win any races. <laughs> it's slow. but it shifts great. And one thing I want to note is look at how straight the wheel is when I'm driving. It just drives nice. So yeah, it's like taking a trip back to 1989. <laughs> Even as a working dome light, uh, headliners and absolutely perfect condition the sun visors are in perfect condition really i mean even the little smoker mirrors on the side work windows roll up and down nice seat belts all work um i think it even has the factory jack that's uh got the toyota sticker on it i mean it's got everything everything you could ask for turn signals all work great lights work great brake lights work great there's no weird electrical BS going on. Uh, what else can I say about the truck? I mean, it's as basic as you get when it comes to uh, features. But it does have a little Bluetooth adapter down there that just runs off the cigarette lighter. So all you got to do is just pair it up with your phone and you got Bluetooth. Horn works. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, it's just a good truck. It took me about six months to find this thing, and I found it from someone that was uh, pretty desperate to put a roof on their house. So it didn't look this nice when I had it, when I got it. I put some before pictures in of um, the seat needing to be cleaned. The upholstery is all factory. That's the same upholstery that was on it, but man, was it dirty. I can show you pictures of it. It was, it was pretty dirty and stinky, so I cleaned the hell out of this thing. Rip the old carpet out of it, put new carpet in it. Uh, carpet kit was like 250 bucks. Um, new floor mats and stuff. Just cleaned it, did a deep cleaning on it, and then did the exhaust work and everything. So, just a damn good truck. I kind of don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to sell it, but I can't have all these cars sitting around. So, it is what it is. some uh, grass on the floor mat over there. I mean, she runs nice and cool. And I put that push button start in there because the ignition switch is 35 years old and is on his way out, but I don't want to I don't want to start tearing the dash apart unnecessarily just to replace a key switch. So I put that little push button starter in there. Much, much less invasive on something this old. I just couldn't, yeah, I don't want to take the original, I don't want to get rid of the original key. I don't want to get rid of the original ignition lock cylinder. 
and all that little push button starter is is just a little knockout panel so you can always easily replace that if you decide to do the job they're on ebay um what else oh yeah i replaced the um these little ac vents are factory these were a little floppy when i got them um these are nice and tight now the little details is what i tried to pay attention to with the restoration of this truck try to preserve the oem aspect of it because it is an old japanese little hilux but i didn't want to put any aftermarket stuff in here or make it look like it's aftermarket in any way so it's kind of like you know finding that balance no cracks in the dash anywhere look at that it's like absolutely perfect and i think what i'll do is i'll turn this around and repark it where i had it it's a nice long video of it it's to show you kind of what you're buying because i always appreciate videos like this because you never know what you're buying and you never know how they run and all that kind of stuff until you're done with the sale It's nice and cool in here. Got the old school bouncy speedometer. Gotta love that. So yeah, guys, you see the ad, you see how much it is. I know what it is, I know what I have, so not to, not to be a dick or anything, but don't, don't sit there and lowball me. I'd just keep it. <laughs> that's the case got some time and money into this thing and I trust this thing to take me anywhere two-wheel drive wonder I also chose to put the white walls back on it because that's how the truck came from the factory I chose to keep the factory steel wheels because that's how it came from the factory and to me that's just how you you know do something like this right you keep it keep it factory so you get it, you can do whatever you want with it, but it made it this far without someone messing with it. So, yeah, guys, appreciate you watching, and uh, yeah, if you want to buy it, let me know. Later.